woke up out of nowhere and he was sitting there on the sand right next to me. <gasps> Lately, I've been falling asleep everywhere at random times. <gasps> Except my bed at night, where I lay awake and wish I had someone to hold me, staring at my phone and listening to the construction men outside tearing up the street. It's been two months of nighttime construction work and two and a half years since anyone's told me they loved me. My friends were the ones who dragged me to South Beach, saying that I never go out, that all I do is go to work, sit in traffic, watch TV, and smoke weed. Well, I should be out with them, at the gym, or live, or mansion, or the Soho Beach House, or wherever it is you meet men that isn't an app or a chance encounter. Watch where you're going. And I guess I agree with them, sorry. But still, it doesn't mean I have to go to the beach. The beach is a place for young, beautiful people trying to show off an old weirdo people who've given up. It's a place for tourists. It's not a place for people like me who've lived here their whole lives and spent the entire night listening to the sounds of pavement being scraped and scrolling through phones. When I wake up, I have no idea how long I've been asleep for. My friends are face down, evening out their tans, and everyone else seems to have consciously turned away from me. But instead of wondering what it is I'm even doing here, I try to just open myself up to the world, giving in to whatever it is the universe has in store for me. Whatever chance encounter, it's figured out with my friends and decided to drop down next to me. Which is when I spot him, sitting there in the sand right next to me. I wasn't trying to snoop, but I saw him open up a dating app and couldn't help but be incredibly curious desperate to see his taste in women. But it doesn't take long before I realize that he's not really all that discerning, swiping right on every picture he sees, indicating, yes, I do like you, yes, I am interested. He never spends more than 10 seconds on a photo. All he does is look, like, and swipe, on and on. And right as I'm about to get bored and turn away, I see him come across a familiar face. Not to him, but to me. A face I've seen a bunch of times before, in every mirror I've ever looked. I stare at my digital self for a few seconds until I notice that for the first time he hasn't swiped right. In fact, he hasn't swiped anywhere at all, his fingers suspended in the air, his brain trying to make the necessary connections between neurons to decide whether, yes, he does like me, yes, he is interested. And I stare and I wonder what's taking so long. Is it my picture? Does he not find me attractive enough? I could almost hear his mind at work, his lightning fast judgments assessing everything from my hair to my eyes to my chin. And I just can't understand it. Do I look too much like a boy? Is the picture too goofy? It can't be worse than literally every other picture. Why do they get a pass? Why don't I get a swipe? Why doesn't he want me? Is he just in a daze, wandering over and over and over again? Could I see myself with this girl? And he waits and he thinks and he ponders it like a judge sentencing someone to death, running through a series of criteria buried deep in his DNA, criteria meant to further the population of our species. And it's the weight that hurts me. It's the hesitation. It's the fact that he needs to be convinced. It's the fact that he doesn't just look at me and immediately want me. It's the fact that he would be totally okay never getting to know me. And I think about all the other men with their high-tech phones and dating apps that swipe. I think about all the other men in Miami who have rejected me, swiping left and sending me to some strange abyss between the phone and the space around it. I think about all my discarded digital profiles, swiped into non-existence, piling up into nothing. And I think about all the women on the other side, the beautiful, gorgeous blonde on the right of the phone, who go to the gym and mansion and Soho Beach House. The women men want, the women they don't need to think about, the women they see and like and swipe. While I wait, and wander, what's wrong with me? And of course, at my lowest of lows, he eventually does swipe, right? Without making much of anything. He just swipes, as if to say, sure, okay, I guess I could be interested. And it doesn't make it worse, but it certainly doesn't make me feel better, because I know I'm not his first choice, and I never will be. A few minutes later, my friends get up, and their skin is pretty tan, I guess. We get into the car and drive back over to Hialeah as I replay the entire minute in my head, confused why I should be so affected by something as meaningless as a complete stranger's opinion of me. 
On the way, we decide to stop and get some drive-through and then pick up weed. I hold my phone in my hand and wish I had someone to text. My mind drifts back over to the last boy that told me he loved me and to the girl that he's probably holding on to right now. The beach feels a million miles away. When I get home, I'll be just in time to watch the construction workers peel back the metal slabs they placed on the street, revealing the wounds they tore into the ground. Thank <laughs> you.